What's up, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Don with the Don Fran Show. And in today's video, we're talking about Apple and why I ended up selling some shares after hours. Uh, I don't have any options contracts on this. Right now, it actually is just shares. Um, if you guys have been following me, just even just on YouTube, you guys know I bought down here at this zone. Uh, we ended up just pushing up. We gapped up into this zone, just rocking it out. And then we it was just a gap and go day. We really took off. You know, it being Columbus Day, uh, and, and I think a lot of we probably didn't see a lot of bank participation, maybe just retail funded, FOMO fueled, just pushed to the upside. You guys know as a whole, the markets were up. They were crazy. Um, I was just going to keep the Apple shares. And I, again, if you watch my Sunday video, I told you guys we're probably going to be green Monday, red Tuesday for the dip buy. I'm actually still thinking that. I was actually just going to have cash on the side, just add on to Apple. Uh, but I decided to scale out after hours, right at 124.70 mark. Uh, we pushed up, we tagged. Now, we definitely went zone to zone today. Now, that being said, this whole leg up is just from zone gapped into that one, then this zone to zone, right? So this is why I don't like to stop out inside zones. I like to manage things in case there is this just, you know, a rally base rally at that point because I did add on. Now, I actually scaled all that back off. So just a successful uh, day trade for a little bit, you know, a few bucks per share, almost five bucks. <clears throat> that being said, to cover all bases, tomorrow if we do... If we were to gap up right now, tomorrow morning, I'm still looking for a pullback. So if we do gap up, I'm probably thinking more along the lines of a, a gap and crap, uh, you know, where we gap up and then we do just sell off. So if we do were to like gap up to here, sell off, I would like to buy it in this zone. Right now, I'm actually thinking rejection. I would prefer to buy it down here. So tomorrow, we get the pullback, get the dip buy. Turns out it was a buy the rumor, sell the news event. The Apple... Uh, announcement, which we're all pretty well sold on the idea that it's uh, the, you know the, the new iPhone coming out. So unless Steve Jobs himself comes out and introduces it, I think there's probably not going to be a whole lot exciting about this, and we'll probably end up selling off. And I think that's more than likely going to happen. That's why I scaled out just to buy those shares right back on. Overall, I'm still bullish Apple, but I like to invest only on the green days. <laughs> I like to make money when it's going up. I don't like to just watch it go down. Um, so that, that's also why I didn't sell my whole position. Could it keep going up tomorrow? Yes, it could. If we gap up and it comes back down, yeah, hopefully I can just, yeah, I'll still add on at this zone right now, watching out for the rejection here, the sell off into here so I can just buy it right back. Ultimately, if that breaks, we get below that, that 118.35 mark. Now, you know, I probably will tag out and look for it down here at this zone uh, and maybe set an alert right here on the trend line and see if we can't uh, see if there is a trend play going on. I don't typically play trend plays or even care for them. Uh, but if that were the case and I did see it start to bounce, maybe I could find a way to uh, structure a trade. <clears throat> so that being said, this 120, 121 area, well, right here, it's 119 to 121. Um uh, you know, I don't mind this on plays like this. I like the type one, you know, type one, type two, type three. I'm not going to just dead set weight on. I have to get it at 119. I don't mind starting to buy right here at the 121 or 120 area. So that's why that alerts just a little bit above it. Now, somebody asked me, what do I think about Google? It's a competitor of Apple. Will this affect that? Uh, and we can pull that up. Google already had quite the run. It jumped above that zone and, and pulled back. I don't think we'll see too much of that inverse effect. I think this is actually going to see just the same thing. Apple's about to tomorrow. I bet this does sell off. Now, for Google, I actually would watch this level right here. It says if we do sell off, uh, you know, I, I wouldn't want to break. If it breaks the the 1542 mark, you know, we're probably gonna go for a deeper pullback. There's gonna be a support right here at the 1530, uh, but I'd still rather keep an eye here on that on that speed bump zone. See if we put in a higher low. We're still talking about a pretty decent leg up. Uh, even the Fibonacci people would agree this purple zone's probably all right. I'm sure it's like a 0.50 or I don't think we're at the 68, not even close, but. Or at the halfway mark, make them happy. Um, that being said, there, there's times I do watch uh, Disney and Netflix. That's even in a video I recorded uh, as well tonight. I'll, I'll link it up here. Uh, but I don't think we'll see too much of that. Uh, Apple's main Apple's so big on their phone. I know Google has a phone, but Apple's so big because that's what gets everybody involved. They get to the Apple. That's their first Apple device. Now they got to get into the ecosystem, which buys so much more. So that's why I think Apple's iPhone carries so much more weight than most of these other competitors. So again, touch base, looking for a pullback into that zone. It's where I have my alert. If we do gap up in the morning, I'm not going to FOMO in and buy it. Maybe I missed the train, but I'm also already in it. So who cares? Uh, but if it does, if we were to gap, I'm looking for the crap. Either way, I'm looking for it to pull back tomorrow. I just think we're going to pull back right here. 
So if you like these short videos where I break down uh, just individual tickers, talk about some uh, some more popular news, let me know in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button for me. And I do appreciate it. thumbs up, and I will see you in the next video.